Hello my friends, today we are talking about something so exciting. I got my first Chanel bag and it's just a dream come true. It's absolutely crazy. I didn't think it would happen. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about how I got it, where I got it from. Was it easy? Was it hard? Because a lot of exchanges have happened, prices increases. And what was my journey of getting a pre-loved bag versus a new bag and what I've decided, everything like that. And you're going to see the bag, of course. <laughs> but before we start, Subscribe to this channel if you love luxury and smelling great because I also talk about perfumes a lot. I've got a perfume obsession. So subscribe if you're interested in that. And let's talk about um, where I got the bag from and how I got it. So I am based in Birmingham. So in the UK, there's two Chanel boutiques, well, two places where there's Chanel boutiques. There's one in Manchester and there's loads in London but I'm smack in the middle so I have to either go up two hours or down two hours to London. We should never say you go down to London apparently so but anyway so I visited the Manchester store and they told me basically because I thought watching loads of YouTube videos I thought that you just go in and you know saved up and they've got the classics in there in stock all the time. That's at least what I was shown so I thought okay come in and they've always got the bag but I walked in and they were like sorry we've had really huge issues and this was after the price increase in November um, and they said oh we don't have anything we haven't had any classic flaps for ages in stock um, and you can just be put on a wait list so now like a wish list wait list is what they say that you're being put on kind of like a mess and I was thinking is this a new thing of them trying to be more like MS so more exclusive and they're not going to give me the bag because I have to buy loads of things beforehand I was kind of panicking because I don't want another I didn't want another increase of price to happen because as we know they've increased the price three times last year I think so I'm <laughs> I was like no no I need to get the bag so I got the essay details that I talked with in Manchester and I just kept messaging her. She um, wasn't responding for like two months. So then I called the boutique and they said basically she left. Um, and then afterwards they wouldn't give me any other essay details. I just kept emailing. Nobody was responding. Basically I was calling. They just never had the bag in. So I was trying to get it for about three months and nothing. Um, I wasn't having any success. So this is how hard it is to get a classic Chanel flap, which should be really accessible. So my idea was because I heard somebody on YouTube um, actually doing this in lockdown. So this is what was my idea to email Harrods uh, and say, hey, can you put me in touch with a Chanel SA uh, in Harrods and they of course did which was really nice he William gave me his whatsapp straight away um, and it was very nice because they Chanel they've got a business whatsapp so you can like just check in with them they've got the bag so it's really nice and it literally within maybe two weeks of me saying hey I would like a Chanel classic flap, medium size, gold hardware, lambskin. He said he's got a bag for me, but then I couldn't go down. You have to be ready to go down to London the same day. I wasn't ready. But then literally a week after he said he's got another one. So I went down to London to get it and that's how I got it. So this was a stark difference between the Manchester store and between the Harrod store and for me it was important to know that the bag is in there because I knew that I'm not going to just travel there for no reason so I would definitely recommend getting your Chanel bag that way why did I go for new instead of pre-loved because as we know well many people say that the quality of leather and everything has gone down compared to vintage Chanel bags 
and quite honestly I was ready to purchase a vintage bag I was actually planning to uh, purchase one and I researched all the stores you know guys that I'm very particular about like who I trust online and I found this website which I'll link down below which I like nearly got my bag from and I've seen some like bloggers talk about it but I did my research and they have a very good reputation for not selling any fakes whereas like Vestia Collective or Fashion File or many of these stores there is instances where they've sold uh, fake bags. I was looking on there and the only reason why I didn't get because I was like I'm not getting a new one anyway I wanted the whole experience of getting my first Chanel bag in store I don't care about like all the other ones that I might get in the future like I just wanted this first one to be in store because that was quite special for me I've saved for this for years and it's not it's not like a bragging thing but I've saved for this bag and wanted it since I was 13 um, and I didn't think it was going to happen it was just like a dream 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 you know when a little girl has a dream that is that was my dream from a very young age and I found because I wanted a bag with an authenticity card and also I wanted it in a very very good condition very good corners and everything so they've got very like many bags for amazing prices there but there was one that I was ready to buy and then somebody bought it so I just was waiting for this same like authenticity card and everything and it did not happen but I probably would have purchased it from there because like their service is amazing and they respond to you on Instagram like really quickly everything if you have got any questions about any bags so I would recommend them definitely if you're looking for your first channel flap and you can't find it can't find a new one I would go for it if you can find your perfect one from luxury promise I would do it this is something that you know I think it's a ridiculous purchase and I kind of like when I spent that money I was like oh my gosh literally felt bad inside because I'm such a saver I've saved for this bag a couple of times but then, then I was like no this is ridiculous I'm not going to spend that money on a bag so I put it towards something else and this time I was like no I need to do it because the prices go up and up and up I could have gotten it for like three thousand pound less a couple of years ago just do it now because you're going to regret it and you just have to get over your saving side and you have to just do it this is my baby i'm so happy it is a medium classic flap lambskin with this burgundy inside leather um and why i went for this size is because it's classic it is good for my frame i think um, it fits just your like a couple of things uh, that you need I usually don't carry huge bags if I do it's like my long champ like big bag which I check everything in so this is more like a dressier bag for me it makes any outfit just look so much more classy and everything I didn't go for caviar although you probably saw I'm such a clumsy person I'm really a clumsy person but I still decided to go for lambskin just because to me it's much more luxurious and this bag is luxurious this is what I want and I didn't want it to be a practical bag if I did I would have gone for caviar but I just don't really like the grain of it on black colored bags I think for neutrals they look much prettier but on black I just don't like it so I went for this one um, and I checked because I saw that there's loads of quality issues so when I got the bag in my hands I looked for any scratches it doesn't have any it's um, it doesn't have many creases just like natural creases of leather that I can totally live with but it's very very nice um, conditions so definitely when you're getting your first bag look for if the bag can just stand on its own when you just put it down 
look for any wonkiness because they will like if you don't pick up on it Chanel will sell you sometimes a wonky bag that flops to one side or there is uh, scratches on there I've seen it all online so make sure that the bag you're getting like you're paying full price you want it to be perfect so this is my little baby that I absolutely love I think I'm so careful with it at the moment. I'll only take it out for really special occasions. <laughs> I'll only wear it with really soft materials like a sweater or something. Um, and the good thing is that I always have really short nails because that's something from my piano days. I can't deal with long nails, so I'm not going to scratch it. The leather is quite shiny compared to what I saw. I saw on Chevron me a chevron flat bag in black lambskin in the Manchester store. It was so grey, the leather was so grey and not shiny at all. So this is really nice and batch, I don't know what yet. And also a new thing that they did is they, they've got chips now inside the bag so there's no need for authenticity cards. And also now they set up, I don't know if they've ever done it before because I've never had it, but when I was buying mine, they set up an online profile for me where you've got your warranty for five years on your bag and um, not the leather, but the hardware and stuff like that. So it's really nice that you've got it there and they can scan your bag and know exactly where it was bought and whether it's authentic. So I really like that you don't have to carry that authenticity card or you might lose it. This is like a really nice also thing to deal with all the fakes that are out there. I also picked up this little SLG. I thought it would just go really nicely with the bag. And it's lambskin as well, gold hardware, and it looks like the flap bag, which I find it's really, really cute. It's got like a little Chanel logo made in Italy. Um, so this is really cute. Oh, I can see I've got like a mark here already from the card, I think. But oh well, with this one, it's lambskin, but honestly, I prefer lambskin. And I'm thinking with this one, it'll probably be quite scratched up. And I don't mind because I want to use it. I want to really enjoy it and use it. That's my approach with luxury goods most of them <laughs> i'm not sure with this bag if i can like throw it around or anything it, i'll probably be very careful with that one but with my watch and stuff like this i want to really use it and enjoy it i don't want it to just sit there and never get used so definitely going to use it loads also I would say that if you are going into a store and thinking that somebody will see you and somebody will have the bag, this is probably not the case unless you're going maybe in it on a very, very quiet day. For example, I went to Harrods on Saturday and literally I was invisible. If I didn't have an appointment with my essay, <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, I always say when people say that, uh, I always hate it, but I had an appointment but without that, I literally, I was invisible. Nobody came up to me, like in the boutique. I was literally just waiting forever. It, yeah, <laughs> don't, I would say that it's easier to have contact with somebody beforehand and know that the bag that you want is in, or at least you know somebody, you can say, hey, I'm looking for William. Then they kind of know that, you know somebody and it's easier for you to see somebody otherwise it may be a bit hard I don't know maybe it's different in other boutiques but I was literally invisible <laughs> invisible to everybody so it's good I think to have prior contact with the boutique or even like call them up and see if you can be put in contact with an essay or you can have their email address um, I'll put the email address to the Selfridges Boutique in Manchester um, for you guys. So you can have it because I haven't seen it online and I got it from basically just talking to them and they gave it to me. You can always call up the boutique and ask 
for what you'd like and just keep calling and be polite because it's never n nice to be not polite to people because I know some people can get aggressive. I've waited quite a long time so I've had to wait over three months to get a bag which I thought it was like an instant thing so if you are really really close <laughs> to saving up for the bag maybe start looking around and see like get in contact with somebody I know that it can be like for me it was quite intimidating I think I'm a person that I've always loved luxury but I've only been to my first ever Chanel boutique this year like inside because I never had the courage to go I just don't know why it's ridiculous I think like I just got in, inside my own head but you know it can be a bit intimidating when you walk in and you kind of don't know what to do exactly or you can what you can do and what you can't do so just be yourself don't be afraid to ask questions I would say go for it it's your day if somebody's not treating you well this is not the person that you want um, to get your Chanel bag from you want to have a great experience and you want to really enjoy it because you're spending a lot of money so don't be embarrassed or like just empower yourself to be who you are and um, get yourself treated well in these boutiques follow me on instagram for more content and fashion content and also fragrance content at monica underscore choch uh, it's C-I-O-C-H and Monaco with a kicking K. Okay, so follow me on there for more stuff. I'll link to the pre-loved website that I love and I would have purchased from, which is like a safe place to buy. And they've got an amazing Instagram with loads of drops. So they do like amazing Amaz and Chanel drops every single week. So go and check them out and I'll see you guys all again very soon. Bye.